Hey everybody, we're here in Bel Air, Maryland at Earth, and I'm here with Dan from Slice Engineering. How's it going, Dan? Doing great. Glad to be here. Awesome. So we were just talking before we started filming, and you got something that's really cool going on here. Can you tell me what this is? Absolutely. So this is a thermal camera setup, and uh, basically what we're showing off is our Mosquito Hot End. This is our Magnum version, which is our high flow version. does about 40 cubic millimeters per second of flow rate. And um, what you can see sort of here, I don't know if the camera can quite get this, but um, we've got the hot section pretty hot, a little over 190 degrees C. And um, the cold section is pretty dang cold. I can put my hand on this and I can leave it there for a long time. You can't try that with another hot end, put your hand on their heat sink. Um, so we've got about 140 degree, 100 to 160 degree delta over a one mil delta in temperature over a one millimeter span. That's how efficient our heat break is. So our heat break conducts 80% less heat upwards through the filament path than uh, than a standard heat break. So we've got uh, a wide variety of different ways that you can mount the mosquito to different printers. Um, there are a few printer companies that are shipping with the mosquito on it from the from the factory, but for the most part, it's a retrofit upgrade. And so we're working with different companies to make that easier. So we've got uh, like a CME CNC, uh, Rostock mount here from 713 Maker. We've got uh, a little collaboration going on with Duet where um, we're adapting to their boards. And we have a major collaboration going on with Bontech. So this is, they're making extruders specifically for the Mosquito. So this is the BMG M version. And uh, what it does is it interfaces with our heat sink and provides torque resistance so it does not spin unlike other hot ends when you mounted it it would spin around right and so that allows you to do something pretty cool um, I don't have a torque wrench out but basically uh, with a torque wrench or, or any other sort of tool you can unscrew the nozzle with one hand if this is rigidly mounted and screw it back on without unscrewing your heat brake and our nozzles all have within a few microns tolerance of each other so you don't actually have to relevel your Z after changing a nozzle, as long as you're using one of ours. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and I and so you you got to use on the mosquito. You have to use the mosquito nozzles, right? Uh, or you we, should we're use we're the rep, mosquito. We we're rep wrap compatible, so you can't use other people's nozzles as long as it's an M6 thread, 12 and a half overall length, and uh, seven millimeter threaded length. So that's the rep wrap style. So E3D does those. Um, so we're compatible with with any rep wrap style nozzle, but obviously we'd love you to buy ours. <laughs> So it looks like we got some uh, parts. This all must be mosquito parts, right? Oh, yeah. um, I was joking around earlier that we had some uh, spray for the mosquito problem, but we'll, <laughs> that's another thing. But uh, so, so it looks like you're selling some nozzles and some fans. So what, what I see here is if something goes wrong with your mosquito, it looks like you can buy parts to fix it pretty much without buying the whole thing again, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. So the sort of concept behind what we're doing is, is sort of like a Lego block concept. So if uh, something breaks, you can swap in the next part and, and everything in our system is pretty modular. So uh, even like uh, the difference between our, our high flow Magnum and, and the standard Mosquito, you literally just have to swap the heat break and get an insulator and you can upgrade from your standard Mosquito to your Magnum if you wanted to start printing higher flow, flow rates. That's really cool. So I could actually go basically have two different hot ends essentially between those two and just swap a couple parts out. Yep. That's exactly. really cool. Uh, we have some really cool stuff on the table. Anything coming up that we should know about? Yeah, so you can tell us about, I should say. <laughs> so what we've got here is, uh, is a, a silicone boot. It's a platinum cured silicone. So we're calling it a boot because it's a little sturdier than, uh, than what other people are making. But this is in pre-production. We just finished beta testing. And so we'll be launching these uh, pretty soon for people that want to improve that bridging performance, right? So if you've got a lot of part cooling air flowing and you don't want to cool the hot block, you want to get that instant bridging performance, that's coming out pretty soon. I can't wait to test that.